Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott just released an 11-point plan to rescue America, presumably on behalf of the whole Republican Party ahead of this fall's election. And it reads like a laundry list of Republican grievances with attacks on things like legal voting, teaching American history, and the LGBTQ community. Given that Republicans have the trends of midterm elections on their side, Scott's document offers real insight into how the party is thinking about this country and what they might do if they regain power. Steve Schmidt is a former Republican strategist and co-founder of the Lincoln Project. He joins me now. Steve, always good to see you. Um, let's just talk about this plan. Mitch McConnell, a wise creature of politics, uh, has, uh, if nothing else, has interestingly not released any kind of plans for the country, but Rick Scott has taken it upon himself to do so. This document, which is really, it's a doozy. Do Republicans win with this stuff? Do Democrats win with this stuff? I, look, I, <laughs> we live in a very, very serious moment. Um, the, the, the world is at the edge of war uh, with the largest invasion uh, of Europe since the end of the Second World War, uh, perhaps imminent. And this document, such as it is, is is just a laundry list of grievances and nonsense that has no chance of being made into actual public policy. There's no rigor behind it. It was written by some ideological 23 or 24-year-old, uh, did a couple of drafts, and, and there you go, out to the American people. It's not a blueprint for anything other than to titillate Fox News viewers and to uh, tickle their erogenous zones, their grievance zones on, on Fox and Friends and, you know, on the other end of the evening, Tucker at 8. But, Steve, you know, I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, this is stuff that's being turned into legislation at, at the state level. I mean, the don't say gay bill, the, the, the school board fights over teaching American history, you know, the, 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 the efforts at electoral fraud, election fraud reform. I mean, it's as crackpot as it may sound when it's in black and white. It's actually happening. I mean, I, I guess it's not without... Um, a, 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 a sort of a foot in reality, if you will. And I guess I wonder, is this not actually shaping the Republican Party? I think that we have a real life autocratic movement in this country. Uh, we saw the events of January 6th. We've seen the apologias for it, the lies, the conspiracies. Uh, the Republican Party has become an organized conspiracy to, to take power. Um, we have Republican leaders, the former Secretary of State, a former president, cheering on uh, the Russian autocrat, Vladimir Putin. Uh, wherever we look, we see Republican uh, elected officials serving as Russian useful idiots. Uh, this moment in time is a, is a profoundly dangerous one, and, and it's clearly before us. Republican Party is talking about banning books. Uh, Republican activists in some places are burning books, uh, misinformation about a, a vaccine and a pandemic and, and the life-saving vaccine uh, has killed upwards of a million people in this country. Um, so look, um, does, does this 11-point plan evidence something that wasn't clearly evident before? I, I, I don't think so. Uh, the, the reality is, and I, and I think the Democratic Party needs to do some soul searching here is you have a radical extremist party uh, that has engaged in intimations of violence uh, that is quite clear about its efforts to say to gay Americans, to other Americans that you're less than. And this party is winning. Uh, the, this party is on track to take control of the House of Representatives. Uh, this party is on track to possibly be in charge of the United States Senate. Uh, this party is not faithful to American democracy. It, it's proven that over and over again. So we have, we have an enormous problem in the, in the country. And, and it's not that we need more evidence to understand it. It's that we need to face and understand these last five years and understand clearly what's ahead by just listening to what it is that the people that are involved in a conspiracy to end democracy are telling us what they want to do.
I mean, and you talk, I think um, you are Cassandra warning us of what may be ahead. I do wonder, though, there's a part of it that I think is really interesting in, in Rick Scott's plan. The plan says Republicans will ensure the government will never again ask American citizens to dis disclose their race, ethnicity or skin color on any government forms. Now, a lot of the disclosure of race and ethnicity helps us understand who we are. It allocates funding for certain underserved communities. But I think it reflects this desire on the part of Republicans to, to blind themselves and the country to demographic change. And when we talk about the future of the Republican Party, I, I wonder, you know, they are making their home on an iceberg that's melting. And how long can you be the party that wants to pretend that people of color don't exist and aren't ascendant in, in, in numbers alone in this country? I mean, how is this a blueprint for the future? Well, Alex, I, I think that one of the things that you have to look at is the, and you know this, is the, is the increase in black male vote share for Trump uh, between the 16 and the 20 election. You know, the clear fall line in American politics is whether you have a college degree or not. Um, we have in, increasingly a class disposition that is that is shaping American politics. And this is a, a, at the core where we see Trump's hottest demagoguery. Um, look, the Republican Party has been hostile to immigrants, to women, uh, to to a lot of different groups, but but the economic populism, the the grievance, uh, is not aimed strictly at, at at white people, and it's and its resonance and its audience isn't just a white audience. So this this movement mm. uh, that we mm. see out there is is dangerous. It's it's metastasizing, and and we'll see what we'll see what comes of it. But but look. Now, Rick Scott's 11-point plan isn't going to become law, but but the malice intentions that are behind it, you know, are ever present in our society. We should pay attention to it. Well, that is what we are trying to do tonight. Steve Schmidt, it is always a pleasure to speak with you, my friend. Thanks for your time.